Hi, my name is Brad and I'm a musician. I, uh, I'm in two bands. I play in my own band, Cold Leather Captains, which I started with Eric Meacham. And I play lead guitar for a uh, punk rock band called The Starship Experience. And in this video, I'm just gonna be showing uh, you the, the how to get the tone that you want. Um, I'm also Canadian and I, uh, I live in Toronto. <gasps> And uh, I'm going to be doing more videos. Th this video is on getting the tone that you want for the style of music that you're playing, like applying uh, your volume and tone knobs to get the sound that you want. Um, for those of you wondering about the guitar, it's a Epiphone limited edition Epiphone custom shop. Uh, don't know the year, but I think it's pretty new. And I bought this used from Long & McQuaid. Great guitar, really great for blues, jazz, uh, rock, maybe not uh, heavy metal or hard rock because it won't sustain as well because of the F holes. So I'm gonna get to it and just show you some tones. I'm playing through a Vox uh, VT20 with one preamp tube and digital effects, so it has a pretty warm sound. I uh, used this amp at a show with the Starship Experience called, I think it's Duggins in Parkdale. It was on Thursday night. And yeah, so I'm just gonna show you, this is a top tempo sound and it's fairly clean. So that's a top tempo with some compression in. I'm on this pickup here in humbucker mode because this, uh, this, this there's a coil top option, which uh, increases the versatility of this guitar. One of, the, one of the great things about it, if you're ever playing a show, you can just switch between, get the sound you want. So that's that's for alternative rock. It's just like a tap tempo thing. Um, if I was playing blues, I'd be playing more of like soloing would be like. Um, I can't play with this finger right now because it's, uh, I don't know if it's during the show or not, but I, um, my calluses aren't as strong as I thought they were. I was playing acoustic guitar and I can't use this finger pressing down without being in a bit of pain. So it'll, it's gonna hinder my playing a bit, but I, I'll, I'll still show you everything that I can do. So that's that's in tap tempo. It's good for chords like. <laughs> Hear that repeating so that's just tapped to uh, a tap tempo so i if i use this amp i tap tempo to i keep it nearby and i just tap tempo to whatever whatever it is so i can just have delay on every song for the lead parts that that come through like with jesse's band starship he'll be playing power chords and we'll be doing you know like to to give it some ambience um i'm going to show you how this sounds for rock for power chords because i like playing rock music as well so I'm just going to switch this over. This is to more distortion. Don't want to upset the neighbors. Turn this off. Um, so a pretty decent tone. We all our songs are in drop D for starships. Let's put this. Down. Yeah. So pretty full sounding guitar. I used it uh, at Seascape when we were doing uh, an open mic there. It sounded pretty good, but I used the SG. It's, it's uh, being repaired, so that's... Um, so that's like a more of uh, obviously distortion sound, like I guess 90s distortion. This is amp modeled as US Michigan. Michigan sound. I don't know. I don't do the digital modeling on this, but it gives you an idea. I'm gonna go back to clean. So for a jazz tone, for example, you can go a little more uh, something with more bass. It doesn't, you know, something that's very mellow. Like, whoops, I forgot I was in drop D. Or, very mellow. Um, one of the things I would suggest is uh, if you don't have pedals or you don't like using pedals and you're playing a solo, 
switch your pickups to here and go into this one for a brighter sound. Another thing you can do is just keep the volume down a little bit. So turn your volume down to around seven. So if you're doing like, if you're about to go into a solo, that would be like, if it's blues and an E major, you could do. But you know, right before the solo, if your volume's on seven, uh, just to increase the volume to come through, when the singer's not singing, you can just turn your volume up. So that's, that's my volume on 10 from seven. I'll just turn up the gain. So you can hear that it's, uh, you know, it's got the overdrive going. So I like to keep, keep my amp with some overdrive on, and then I turn down my volume a bit, and then I just kick my volume into full. Um, so that's, I don't have a lot of time right now, but that's the demo for now. Um, I'm post, this is on my YouTube account. If you guys want to hear anything like tone tips or how certain pedals interact or getting the sound you want for whatever genre, let me know in the comment section and I'll post more videos. Um, and uh, happy, happy Saturday. Mm -hmm.